Someone just dumped his baby. As I was driving my routes, these dumping sites, I remember I looked in my rear view mirror, her head just popped up. She was in that ditch. Hi, precious. It's okay, precious. These animals are beaten, dumped. I think to myself, can you imagine what they're feeling after they're dumped? I'm here to help you, come on. Good morning, everybody. People will say, you're still going out there after nine years, Christmas, New Year's, I'm out there in the mornings. And it's like, yeah, because nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to drive down that dirt road in the far back. Hey, baby. Nobody's going to walk the railroad tracks. Nobody's going to look in the ditch where I know they're thrown. I think because the area is so rural and, and nobody's gonna know, nobody's gonna see, it's just easier for them. Sometimes they feel like they're gonna go to jail because they're gonna take them to the shelter. It's just crazy stories that, you know, have been said to me. I've had dogs where I'm driving and they just start wagging immediately as soon as I open my door. Come here, baby. Come on. It's okay. You're not us. I already have my leash and food in my hand and then at that point, leash them and put them in my truck. I have collars, toys, blankets in my truck, always, all the time. It's gonna be okay, Papa. And putting that collar around their neck makes me feel that they're thinking they're wanted. They have somebody, they have a family now, so that's one thing that I can never wait to do when I rescue a dog. It's a relief for them, but also for me, because I know I just saved another one. There's always that moment when you put them in there, they always tend to turn around. Like they know they're driving away from evil. Like they know they are safe. It'll be okay, baby. That's the best moment of rescuing these dogs that are dumped. And then it's like we get to the vet, they're this whole different dog. Like they've known me forever. I think that's their way of telling me, thank you. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for being my voice. Thank you for picking me up. Okay. Because so many cars passed me up and nobody stopped. I truly believe that there is a home for every dog out there. That feeling it is something that motivates me to continue to do more. Look at that wiggle butt. <laughs> to go in there and finalize the adoption. These dogs are looking at you like, this is it. And it's rewarding to be able to get them off the street, get them better. There we go. And prove to the world that love and patience is what gets them to that forever home. It is rewarding to be able to find that home that they are looking for. Si amas a los animales, suscríbete.